XPages is a great new technology for giving a new web front end to your notes applications. Uh, they can do rather a lot, but they don't do quite everything that we normally see in HTML development. What we're going to look at here is the case of lists, unordered lists, ordered lists. These are a very common thing used in HTML to display lists of information which don't have any baseline support in XPages. However, there are ways to do that, and we're going to look at them now. So to this end, we're first going to create a X page. And we are going to display the contents of a notes view on that X page. We're going to first add a repeat control. We're going to map that repeat control to our notes view data source. I'm going to map it to a view I have in one of the lead manager databases. So this is nice and handy and populated with information. I'm going to pick the company by name view. We are then going to tell the lead control to export the collection name, which is the JavaScript variable you'll see the data by as data row. Now we're going to drop into that repeat control a label control. And we're going to set on that label control to say that its text is computed. We're going to use what we defined before, the data row. Uh, and this is a view entry, so we're going to call get column values on that, and we're going to pull out the first column value. So we can go and look and see what that looks like on the web now. So if we go to our server website and load it up, You'll see it does, in fact, pull out all the first column, which is the names of all of these companies. Now, they're kind of all jumbled together here, and we could put in more formatting and um, extra lines and improve the look and feel of this, but what we really want to do is show it as an ordered list. So let's go back and see how we do that. Now, we're mostly accustomed to designing and laying out X pages in this graphical environment, but in the back end, they are really just XML, and we can hop over to the source view here, and we can see that XML can see where the repeat control was created and the label control inside of that and where we assign the value to that. Now, as it turns out, we can add to this XML additional HTML elements, or in fact, actually XHTML elements. So to turn this into an unordered list, we simply just need to add on either side of the repeat statement the XHTML to start and finish the unordered list. And within the list itself, we add in the XHTML to say that, oh, by the way, put the stuff inside here as a list item. And let's go back and look and see what that comes out like. So back on our web page, uh, we're going to do a refresh and we can see that the list now comes out as an array of bulleted items. If we look at the source, we can see where it has inserted the XHTML tags that we requested. So we've now taken an X page and we've used it to produce customized stuff. We could add our own styling to this unordered list and present it with cascading style sheets and display it in a wide variety of formats. Or we could even use this as XML-based input to another rendering engine. Uh, and thus we're using X pages to serve up notes view data as XML, and that can be used for a wide variety of things.